Can anything good come out of this country under this present administration? Well, guys, you may probably have to answer this question. Federal government said to reduce pump price of petroleum or petroleum pump price, as the case may be. The federal government is already in consultation to decide if the pump price of petrol will be reduced. Timmy Presilva, the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, made the statement on Friday in Abuja. While fielding questions from reporters, the minister opined that the consultation was because of the drop in crude oil prices. The Petroleum Products Pricing Regulatory Agency, PPPPRA, gave the landing cost of petrol as 95 Naira 16 Kobo per litre as at Tuesday. With the expected open market of price of petrol was 114 Naira 53 Kobo per litre. This is a developing story. We are still consulting. We are still following it closely, Timmy Pre Silva says. Of course, usually the product price follows the crude oil price, but we are still consulting. We'll get back to you. Please be patient with us, the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources said on Friday. Now the question is, can anything good come out, out uh, under this um, administration? Because the way things are actually going, one does not seem to understand if this administration actually know what they are doing. Look at what is happening around the world and um, look at what Nigeria is actually going through. A lot of um, discrepancies actually uh, trails the figures, facts, and all what have you that is coming out of Nigeria in this particular time of the season. Well, before I go ahead with more analysis, let me quickly take a few reactions from people so you can get to know or hear what people are saying concerning this particular news story. This is Nigeria, a country that fights against Newton's law. Whatever goes up must remain there. It must not come down. You people should not worry. We are used to the cost of living. Don't disgrace yourselves at all. Unbelievable. If it's to increase pump price, you will not wait for anyone. That is what another person is saying. Another person says, This government is tired and short of ideas. What else is making it difficult to throw in the towel? Must every Buhari government wait to be toppled before getting the message? Biafrans, oh sorry, Nigerians are suffering. Why wouldn't the government reduce the pump price if the crude oil price has dropped to as low as 31 naira per barrel? These are simple arithmetic issues that don't need a rocket science or scientist to solve it for this dump government of prejudice. Unbelievable, that's what somebody else is saying. Another person is saying, I'm sure they are still talking uh, paying subsidy. Another person Sunday Ayegba says, whatever you and your party do, we can't vote you come 2023 again. Wow, lessons learned. Another person says, I don't know what they take Nigerians for. Who told them that crude oil is correlated with pump price or petroleum price? That when crude oil falls, petroleum price will also fall. What happened during good luck ability Jonathan time when crude oil went as high as 140 naira? Why was petrol not sold for 10 or 15 naira per litre? I beg you people should keep on doing what you know how to do best while Nigerians wait for 2023. But oh boy, 2023 is still far old, and time seems not to be running. May God bless Nigeria and bless Dangote for him refinery even though the intentions are still not clear to most of us. Alagog says propaganda by useless politicians in power. John Jones says, the pop price of petrol fell without any form of consultation, yet Nigerian government are wasting time in the name of consultation to reduce the pump price. I hate this country, he says. Callistus 
Anre Bunwa says, Hmm, please, where will this consultation be over, sir? But one day says, Since now, now, on our reduce them, now where PMB and APC chiefs don't they ready to come up for government? Now another government then won't put all the wahala on top. Imagine. Useless set of leaders with no directions. Jide Olaiton says, One day, truth will come out on actual landing cost of petrol, as no government in power has ever been truthful to Nigerians on this issue. Why should we... Why should we still be depending on importation of petrol? And how long will it take the government to fix our refinery and bring down the pump price to alleviate the sufferings of Nigerians in this sector? Electricity is another matter that only God can help the common man as the government is preparing to approve the increase in tariff to, incompetence, to the incompetence and inefficient disco. Guys, so many people are actually not happy and are actually not um, believing that the pump price of petroleum product in Nigeria can be reduced by this government. Bunch Protocol says, okay, let's watch and see. I hate stories. Let them implement it. Pakelio says, very soon, APC government will distance themselves from this news and we will and will deny they are not in party with the junior minister of petroleum in making such statement without consulting his principal officer. Who is the principal officer? Your, your guess is as good as mine. The man in the Asorok. Serious Business says, yes, this is a good th thinking. Cost of goods and services may come down because fuel price is one of the most single determinant of cost of living in Nigeria. Ibrahim Mohammed says, APC can't reduce pump price but can increase it and if it happened, I'm very sure it can't go below 100 naira per liter. Well guys, what are your thoughts on this particular news story? You've heard what people are saying. The issue of the pump price petroleum product in Nigeria, can it be reduced? You know, during the good luck Jonathan era, it was reduced. During Obasan just era, it was reduced. I think during uh, Umar Musa Yaradwa's regime, it was also reduced. But since APC came into power, from 97 era, it went straight up to 143, 145, you know, as it is. So guys, do you think that this guys, this APC government can reduce the pump price of petrol? Petrol is a very essential commodity that affects everyone's day-to-day -day life and activities because it is what fuels transportation. So who knows? Goods and services are transported by vehicles, movements, and all what have you. So who actually knows if this will actually happen? And should it happen, will it be celebrated? What are the tendencies that it will not be increased thereafter or after some time? These are issues that, you know, we really need to carefully look at because I do not think that the APC government will do anything that would um, uh, not be in their own interest or that will not profit them much more than imagined. So, since the products, the, the price of the crude oil has fallen down, does it really directly or proportionally affect the price of petroleum products? Well, we don't know. We, 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 we keep our fingers crossed to see what happens. But since the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources says they are making consultations, well, let's wait until the consultations are over. Who knows how long the consultations will take? Well, be that as it may, you know, it is important that this administration do something to at least make the people feel uh, that their pains are being felt and have been alleviated in one way or another the price of petroleum products if it comes down somebody else has said it may not come below 100 naira well even if it comes down to 100 naira it's uh, probably some people will actually rejoice or many will actually appreciate it because one liter is 143 145 naira at the moment and you can imagine how many liters you need in a day for those that are running small scale businesses, you know how many liters of petroleum that they have to, you know, use or expend in a day. So, guys, what are your thoughts on this particular news story? How do you think this will affect the economy? Can anything good come out of Nigeria under this administration? These are the questions that we need to ask ourselves. 
looking at the situation of things and how a ton of events has actually you know happened in this country it is best that we ask ourselves these questions for real if there will be anything good that will come out of this administration in nigeria well i stand to be corrected if i'm wrong guys drop out the comment section let us know what your thoughts are kindly share this news story with friends family relations also subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you can get a notification whenever a new story is uploaded thank you so much guys i appreciate you have a wonderful day and i'll see you on the other news